Hey everybody, in this video we're going to build another chassis frame. This particular chassis frame is going to be mostly comprised of channel, so we've got some 10.5 inch long channel and some 16.5 inch long channel. We're going to bind those together with some dual side mounts, so let's go ahead and get started by putting the dual side mounts in the ends of the 10.5 inch long channel. So essentially the idea of these side mounts is you're going to be giving tapped endpoints on your channel here that will allow you to mount it to the other channel. Um, I have both quarter inch and 5 16th inch screws to work with these. The 5 16th inch screws are going to come in through the side um, and it's going to take up just about all the threads that are available there and we like to always use up the threads where we can. If we have threads left available we want to make sure we're going to evaluate whether there's a longer screw that will fit in there and uh, utilize those unused threads. So in this case 5 sixteenths works perfectly. And then when you come in from the other side through the channel and into the bottom of these dual side mounts the quarter inch is going to work perfectly for that. So we've got one down. Let's go ahead and attach those dual side mounts to the other 10 and a half inch channel as well. You know these are basically doing the same job as the 545 360s do, um, but I wanted to show you both so you have an idea of how both are used. They both have their areas where they excel. Um, these dual side mounts are nice because they leave this center area open, so if you need that, they're perfect for that. Whereas the 545-360s have, you know, the material across there, they kind of act to pull the channel together and get it aligned. Um, they're a little bit sturdier, it's all one piece, it's thick, um, and it's got some tapped holes uh, in there just like this does. So, you know, there's similar components that have some slight differences that can make a di big difference to you depending on what your use case is and, and what you're building. As usual I do like to keep these nice and loose until I get everything together um, and then I'll go through and tighten them all up. So now we have the dual side mounts attached to the side of the 10 and a half inch channel. Now we're going to go ahead and mount that to the sides of the 16 and a half inch channel using the quarter inch screws. I'm going to go five of the large half inch holes in on, from either side of the 16 and a half inch channel. I feel like that's going to give me plenty of room to have motors or whatnot on the ends as well as plenty of room on the center of my robot. One sixteen and a half inch channel is attached. Let's go ahead and attach the other side. Now that your screws are all tightened up, your H-shaped frame is ready to go. It's going to be very rigid, it's going to be very lightweight, and have plenty of mounting points for motors and whatever else you need to make your robot go. Stay tuned for future videos.